playing a, one a beautiful tune from the Firebird by Stravinsky. That is, um, it's called Ronde, Ronde de, de Princesse, because they are playing, sing, I mean, they are dancing around very quietly and it's a very beautiful piece of music and very pretty on the stage. All those young girls dancing, uh, sort of, uh, with a good feeling for the Firebird, who is incarcerated by a monster. Our students from Anzurum uh, were here watching you in the rehearsals in the morning and they are looking forward for the concert. And uh, may I introduce them to you? Of course. Thank Pleasure. you. So this is Ikai, Merve, Welcome here. Nazle, uh, Furkan and Eje. Hi. And if it is okay with you, they have a few questions. I'll leave you with them and come in a few minutes. Is that okay, okay, fine. Thank you, Maestro. What can I tell you about, about the Firebird? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maestro, the Firebird suite begins very darkly. It is mysterious, even scary. How does the composer make us feel like that? How does he create that effect? What? <laughs> he was such a genius that he has, the, has the cellos and basses and the... And the bass drum like, I can't do the bass drum I'm afraid but I put it's very scary though very dark and the trombones come so it's really fantastic place um, and uh, then of course things and uh, become a little bit more friendly later and you probably want to know what happens yes, later. And Maestro, could you please show us another part of the music where different emotions come out? Mm -hmm. Well, um, then Stravinsky decided to, uh, to show us the girls who are uh, imprisoned by the monster together with the firebird who is also of course a beautiful woman. And uh, the, in, usually in the ballet productions, uh, they dance a very, very easy, very peaceful dance. It's called the uh, Ronde des Princesses. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The Princesses, in French. In English, Ronde, Ronde, no, Ronde of, of, of Princesses. Princesses. <laughs> very quietly, very, very pretty girls. And anyway, in the end, the prince, wonderful prince, comes and frees her from the clutches of the monster. And uh, then what's very interesting, that they, this evil kingdom uh, begins to disappear, yeah, and in the end. And um, there's a lullaby, berceuse, that is played at that time, because everything is sort of um, uh, falling asleep, you know, the kingdom is not any, any, there anymore, but there's nothing else yet. And the stage, I don't know, it depends on the director of the stage, of course, how it is all transformed. But uh, the lullaby is very beautiful too. The bassoon is playing this. Uh, sounds sort of sad, but it's not, it's just uh, sort of foggy. Everything goes, disappears, and finally um, uh, there's a sunrise, new world, the uh, uh, horn plays uh, very beautiful. Um, up and it, it ends gloriously with the fortissimus full orchestra, which I can't uh, illustrate on the piano, you have to listen to the symphony orchestra. The end is absolutely fantastic, you know, everybody plays, everybody is happy. So, so it all ends very optimistically. She is freed, the kingdom of the monster disappears, and we are in the new world. So, Maestro, thank, thank you very much. much. My pleasure. We look forward to our